New Views. So if we've gone up to the View tab and we've come over and, and we placed uh, our View panel on, that we did that by right clicking in the gray area and saying Show on Panels and checking on Views. If we've done that, we will get the View Manager available. We can click on View Manager. Now to create a new view, we go up and we choose Model Views and we say New. And in the model view, we'll give it a name. And I'm going to say something like, you know, living room. And we can put a category in there. It's kind of like having a folder. Uh, we'll use these with our sheet sets later on. It's, the view type is a still, like a camera, taking a uh, camera. Our boundary is a current display, so whatever our current display is, well, it shows the whole floor plan, so we don't want that, so we're going to say define window. And then in the window, then, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to pick, and I'm going to pick, and say, ah, now I'm going to hit enter to accept, I hit enter, and now I say OK. And so I just created a, a one called uh, living room, and I'll say OK, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pan over here to let's say the, the master bathroom here and let's say I want this as another uh, view I'm going to come up to the view manager click on model views say new in this case I'm going to go with the current display and I'm going to call this master bath and I'll say OK I've created another uh, view now. So I can go along and either pan to where I gotta go. Um, I might just uh, make it look how I want it to go or uh, I can go up to the view manager and click in the model view say new and I'll say garage and I'll say define window and I can just come in here and basically pick on my garage hit OK and then OK and now I created a few different uh, different views and now I can while I'm working I can then access them by a verbal name instead and that might be more user-friendly for your design uh, a task